Hey there. So you might be wondering, hey Doug, why do you get the hood open on Big Block Betty? Well, I'll tell you. So we decided we were going to go fishing last weekend. We did all right. Got a couple. On the way home, about an hour drive, about halfway maybe. And if you've ever heard this sound, you know what I'm talking about. I hear a ticking noise getting louder and louder and louder as I'm going up you know, a pretty good hill. And I went, hmm, I don't like the sound of that. So we whipped into a gas station. I jumped out real quick, threw open the hood. Yep, that's a lifter, and it's banging hard. Ah, so pulled the valve cover off. And sure enough, the rocker is loose. Not that bad. I got the tools with me. Tweaked it back down. Good. Put everything back together. Said, hey, Ashley, fire it up. I'm going to sit here and listen. She fired up. I could still hear it. Well, you'd think I would have checked everything else while I was on there, but I didn't. So I took the cover back off. And found another one. So I get the wrench in there, and I'm getting ready to loosen the poly lock. Finish taking it off, of course. And all of a sudden, boop, that push rod disappeared. Now, now what? I'm sitting here. So I did what anybody would do. Hi. <laughs> Threw the cover back on and limped it home. About 30 miles, maybe maybe a little less. Right there anyway. So, I still got oil pressure. So hopefully the rod just fell down and laid in the valley and it's okay. Um, if you look back when we finished putting Betty together, you'll see... You know, I bought the poly locks so that this wouldn't happen again because it happened to me one other time. Of course, I was close to home when that happened, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Anyway, so I hope that it's just laying in the valley and didn't get chewed up and, you know, basically destroy the whole motor. We're crossing everything that that happened. Anyway, let's go ahead and start tearing it apart. Again. Hey, quick interruption. Ashley's worked a tail off to put these shirts and hats together for you guys. Check out this one. Big Block Betty. First project truck. First vehicle I ever painted. It's good from far. It's not bad. We've got a Big Block Betty, a good from far garage, Remy. First vehicle we ever bought. Project vehicle. Runs great. And uh, Cormero C4. These hats are great too. Thanks, Marcus. We appreciate everybody's support so much. Go pick yourself up some hand-printed shirts. Every one of them's a little different. Good from Far Garage. So that I can afford to keep putting these old projects back on the road. Or in the garage. Kind of running. Somewhat. A little bit. They're good. Look up goodfromfargarage.com. Find it in the comments. Thanks. Oh, yep. This is, it's hot out too, of course. Wouldn't be nice out, would it? No. Never gonna happen. Oh, and the garage is full of other things. So we're gonna do this in the driveway. All right. Let's drain some coolant. Nope, oh, that ain't coming out.
Yep. I do enjoy driving old stuff, but you know, one of these days it'd be nice if I get 20,000 miles out of something before I needed to completely disassemble it again. Just saying. All right, we got everything peeled off the top here, unbolted. Moment of truth. Did we destroy it? Or are we just going to simply put it back together? <sighs> I'm nervous. Hey, here we go. Ah, well, yep, well, here's what we got. We got a bent and broken push rod. That's fun. And we got a lifter sitting back here. I guess that doesn't look bad. Put you back home. Yep, there it is. Bent and broken. Well, I'm going to get a flashlight in here and um, see if we can see anything. All right, now I don't know what caused the bent push rod. But, or the fact that it broke. It, so it was straight when it fell down. I know, because it was sticking straight out. So it must have got mangled up in here somehow. I don't see any visible damage anywhere. I don't know. I'm guessing it fell down, got pushed up by a cam lobe maybe. Broke it in half, and then it just kind of rolled around and laid back there. I don't know how that little piece didn't fall right down through the valley there and get all chewed up, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Could have been worse. Anywho's. So I think. Yeah, nothing looks banged up really. I think we're I think we're okay. Other than push rod and some poly locks that aren't exactly poly locking. Um it's hot out. So I don't know if I have a push rod for that. Don't think I do. So I'm gonna go see if we got a push rod. Okay, so I think we're going to be okay. All the pieces are there. Thank goodness. Not sure how, but they're there. Um, I don't have a push rod the right length, but a quarter inch too short, so I'll have to get one of those ordered. Hopefully I can get it tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's getting dark out, so I'm working outside because everything's in the garage. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Okay, all our parts showed up. We've got a couple extra poly locks in case we find some others that just apparently decided to give up. New push rod, gaskets. Let's go. We gotta get it back together. Car show to get to. Okay, so we got our gaskets glued in there. Finally. Um Oops. Both uh, China walls around the water ports. Um, slapped it on there, waiting our one hour before we can torque it all down and let it set overnight. It's, it's Friday now. 
So we're gonna we're down to the wire. Weird. Um, I'm just gonna wait to torque it down, and then we'll button everything else up, and we'll wait till morning to actually put water back in it so it dries, cures all the way. But we'll fire it up, make sure we don't hear any knocking or ticking or anything like that. Um, oh yeah, we gotta put the distributor back in. Great. Well, we'll see what happens. Okay, well, everything's put back together. Let's see. Yep, there it is. Everything's buttoned back up. Um, I'd love to throw water back in it and fire it up, but silicone's a little bit sticky yet. It's not st sticky, sticky, but you know, it's not dried. It's not cured. So I think we're just going to have to wait, get out here nice and early in the morning and throw water in it, set the timing, throw water in it, set the timing. That's pretty much it. We should be good to go. So... We'll see you in the morning. It's early, but we're out here. We got our coolant, we got our coffee. We're gonna top it off, set the timing and go. So let's get to it. See if it starts. Nope. Strip it in backwards again. Timing's right. Got spark. Hi. <laughs> well. Near positive, it's completely flooded out. We're gonna go ahead and give it one more shot. And if it goes, great, we'll set the timing and get going. If not, we're just gonna close it up, jump in the burnout truck and head over to the car show. Let's try it. Okay, well I guess Betty's staying home. Shoot! I really wanted to take it. We had it there last year and you know, of course the transformation. So let's close it up and get going. Well, we've made it 14 miles. So far so good. Still running on pretty rich, but we're getting there. We started off the video with Big Block Betty trying to get it back running. I really wanted to bring that here. But, you know, we'll, we'll take the Cormero. So I guess let's cross our fingers and hope we get there.
And what's your name? Uh, Jace. Jace? Yeah. This is the first muscle car yeah. they made. This is what started the whole muscle car thing. Okay, so we're back. Successful car show today. We put about 60 miles on the old Coromero today. Went pretty good. Um, you know, not it didn't run great, but it ran good. We made it all the way over there, all the way back. Really no issues. Um, still runs a little rich, and it's because of that. It's, it doesn't really have a whole lot of get up and go, but it was it was good. You know, we got there, went the speed limit ish mostly the whole time. Um, it was a good time. That's what this is all about. Working on old junk, getting it back on the road, and having fun with it. Um, also, you know, we won a little you know, car care package while we were there today. That's pretty cool. Uh, if you like car show stuff, go ahead and hit the comments. We'll go to more. I think we got a couple more we usually go to every year. And um, keep putting junk back on the road and having fun with it. So... Don't forget, like and subscribe, grab yourself a shirt from goodfromfargarage.com or a hat. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.